Yeah, come on in. Oh, jeez. Good lord. Oh, you have a red jacket. Well, oh, wait, so. so. Oh, shit. Anthony, this? come here. Yeah. And you can do all sorts of different colors. So, what are you doing? What's the process? What's going on here? Basically, um, loads up the camera, and then it has all the frames of each of the scenes, and it goes through all the pixels on the scene and tries to find a color that matches the color that we select. You select a color by clicking on it. Um, and, yeah. Oh, so, it's getting the back wall over there. Right. So, so it'll look for anything that's similar. So we tagged the color white here, but it finds a color that's similar in one of the pixels above it. Mm -hmm. It'll take mm -hmm. that point to match it. So for this, we're just having it track a point and having it create um, recursive circles until it hits a certain point. And that's just to kind of show how you can follow a point. Mm -hmm. And over here on the Pong, we're using the marker as an actual controller to move the paddle. So you're using the red paddle there? Yeah, the I'm marker? using the red paddle on the left. So if you had a green marker in your hand, you could be the other person? Um, no, we didn't We didn't have time to program that in yet. Uh -huh. So what um, did you use to program it? Processing. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a Java-based language. Mm -hmm. Really easy to get into and fun to use. So Where'd you find it? Um, it? We were introduced to it in one of my classes. It's mm -hmm. free online. Um, and it's actually Coach the same Pesca, language, essentially, that they use to, to program Arduinos. Coach Pesca.